with the words Women's Lives Matter written across her chest. A topless Nicole Rochelle, 38, jumped a barricade outside the Montgomery Country Courthouse in Norristown, Pennsylvania, on April 9. She raced towards Bill Cosby, 80, per page 6, before being apprehended by the police. Nicole wanted to make a statement on at the start of the disgraced comedian's retrial over his alleged sexual assault of Andrea Constand, 44, in 2004. His first trial ended in 2017 with a hung jury. The main goal was to make Cosby uncomfortable because that is exactly what he has been doing for decades to women, Nicole said during a call with reporters after she was charged with disorderly conduct, per the NY Daily News. Along with her slogans, she had Cosby rapes women written on her back, Nicole had the names of Bill's accusers written across her torso. It was definitely a peaceful type of protest. I just wanted him to feel my presence and to feel uncomfortable. I didn't want him to just walk like, la di da it's a normal day, I have my regular dignity. And I did nothing. She added, I wanted him to feel something, I can use my body as a political statement and not just a sexual object. Like he did to other women. I wanted to show him that I was not disempowered. Nicole, who is professionally credited as Nicole Leach, appeared in four episodes of The Cosby Show between 1990-1992, portraying the character of Danielle. She has been an outspoken critic of Bill Cosby, who has been accused by 60 women of various accounts of sexual assault. Ahead of her protest, she posted an image to Facebook of her wearing one of Bill's Hello Friend hoodies, with the latter word crossed out and replaced by the world rapist. In honor of the first day of the Bill Cosby retrial, I went by the address where they filmed the Cosby Show exterior in New York City. Let's hope justice will finally be served. She captioned the shot. Nicole's protest caused Bill's publicist, Andrew Wyatt, call for increased security. It's a different world. Things have changed, Wyatt said, indicating the recent mass shootings. You never know who's going to want to make a name for themselves.